arrived in Budva, a cute little beach town here in Montenegro. We're going to be staying here in the old town, so we're going to check into the hostel and then we're going to explore the city tomorrow. Budva, wrapped nice and early before it gets too warm. We're going to start the day by exploring the old town behind yeah. us. We're going to walk through the many alleyways, there's a few of the churches there, maybe grab a coffee and uh, check out the boutique shops. There's a lot of history in this old town, which seems really interesting. Yeah. Now after that, maybe we're going to go and explore one of the 17 beaches they have here in Budva. Yeah. Sounds like a great day. It does. This town is actually 2,500 years old, so it's really old and really beautiful. I think one of the churches is just around the corner, so let's go and have a look. It's so peaceful here. It's a really cool feeling. We're sitting on one of these uh, city walls. I mean, this, this was built 2,500 years ago, and thinking about all the people who've been coming here, sitting down just like me, overlooking the ocean, it's a pretty cool feeling. Walking around the old town here, and just realizing that it's been here for over 2,000 years, like you said, you know, the stonework, the alleyways, there's so much history here, and it's just so well preserved. And it's not only the architecture which is well preserved, but the traditions as well. I mean, we're sitting here on a stage where people have been performing for a long, long time, and every year they have this theatre festival here where people come to watch these dramas on the same place where they've always been held, and that's why Budva is called the theatre city. Yeah. We've spent the morning walking around the old town. Uh, it's been really cool to see. Yeah. Beautiful. We've been asking the locals um, if they have any local dishes, snacks, something like that, and it doesn't seem they have that many. No. But we did find something. What's it called? Uh, this is a porja. It's like a cornbread muffin. And it's not really typical for Montenegro alone, but more for the whole Balkans. Uh, it seems very popular, so yeah, looks nice. So we're going to grab a coffee, finish this, and then head to the beach. Sounds perfect. So beautiful there, huh? So seafood. One of the things that Budva is most famous for are 17 different beaches. This is one of them. It's right outside the old town. Let's go and test the water. Great way to finish the day here in Budva, and tomorrow we're off to Serbia.